a reflection on my 20th year of life. As my 21st birthday approaches, I can't help but think what a weird year 20 was. I celebrated my 20th birthday in New York, surrounded by people who aren't in my life anymore. People I thought I'd spend the rest of my birthdays with, in a place I thought I'd call home for the next few years. But all that changed. I'm not in New York anymore, and I have no reason to return. I'm back where I started. I'm back living with my parents in my childhood bedroom. And it's not a bad thing, don't get me wrong. It's just not where I thought I'd be. I pictured my 21st birthday on a rooftop in New York City, not in my parents' house. But I guess that shows how unexpected life can be. I've always heard that, but never really experienced it. Not to this extent, at least. It's crazy how much your plans can change. It's crazy the lack of control we have of our lives. When I graduated high school, I moved to Italy. The next year, New York. I was on a completely different path than I am now. I thought I'd be living in a big city, attending fashion shows, working with luxury brands. But instead, I'm back in the suburbs of good old Indiana the place I vowed I would never come back to. Yet here I am, with no intention of leaving. I've spent the past seven months reflecting on my life, my path, what I really want. I found that the path I was on before was empty, toxic. It didn't fulfill me. Sure, it looked like it. My Instagram feed was full of cool places, but my soul was empty. I was surrounded by people, but completely alone. I was really depressed but I didn't know why. I thought there was something wrong with me. I had everything, or so it looked like. But I wasn't happy. I started getting anxious. I wouldn't sleep. I lost weight. I wasn't me. This went on for months, but no one seemed to notice. In March, when I found myself moving back home unexpectedly, it all hit me. I slowed down for the first time in years. I took the time to really process my emotions and the way I had been living. It wasn't an easy transition. It still isn't. But I found so much more fulfillment being home than I ever did elsewhere. I'm learning to take life one day at a time. I'm learning to enjoy the little things. I'm learning to be myself again. I'm learning to be who I want to be, not what others want me to be. I'm learning to do things for myself and for my own mental health. I'm learning to love the way I am rather than pick myself apart for everything I'm not. As I reflected on this past year, I realized how incredibly insecure I had become. I had come to a point of caring so much about others' opinions of me that I lost any confidence I ever had. And I'm still recovering. From my appearance to my career choice, there's no part of me left that hasn't been judged by someone who once meant a lot to me. And that hurts, and I don't know if I'll ever fully recover. Some days I feel permanently broken, like this is just how it's going to be from now on. And maybe it is, maybe it's not. Only time will tell. I guess what I'm trying to say is that we have absolutely no control of anything. And that's terrifying. As someone who is a bit of a perfectionist and plans everything, the thought of not having control of my life terrifies me. But that's fate. I know God is the only reason I'm even on this earth to begin with, so only He knows what's in store for me. I'm just here, like the rest of you, doing what I can, trying to figure out my purpose, but failing every day. I don't think we'll ever really know our purpose, or why we're here in the first place. That's okay. I'm learning to be at peace with the unknown, learning to live every day with intention, doing things in love, focusing on the good. Life is short, and I don't want to waste it worrying about the next day, week, month, or year, because that's not guaranteed. You're only guaranteed this moment. What are you going to do with it? I don't have all the answers. None of us do. But if there's one thing I've learned this year, is that when things fall apart, they're really just falling into place. Here's to 21. <laughs>